Good afternoon and uh, welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 526 and the topic today is Are You Dating Feminine Men? I'm going to have some fun with this. Um, before I jump into that, let me introduce myself and explain why I do the, what this is all about. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day for almost two years now, I do these daily talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today's episode is number 526. Yep, that's a lot. <laughs> and the topic today is, um, as I said at the beginning, are you dating feminine men? And thanks to a friend of mine, Carrie, who posted, who responded to something I said earlier, just gave me the topic I was just thinking, what am I going to talk about today? And then right before I went live, she said that she didn't date too many feminine men. I thought, hmm, there's my topic. So, let's we'll have some fun with this, shall we? And by the way, this is a Facebook Live initially that goes onto YouTube in the replay. And if you have a question or a thought or a comment on the broadcast, you can please do it you know, whilst I'm talking. If I'm, if you do it after I'm, if you're watching the replay and doing that, I'll still respond to the comments later on. And if it's on YouTube, you're watching it there, you can see that you can add comments there. Although the comments on YouTube won't be seen by the Facebook people and Facebook people once you get the point. They're different. Okay, that was really not very helpful, was it? So let me jump into the topic. Welcome to the broadcast. Um, dating feminine men. Hmm. And this is meant to be for the ladies, but of course, it might apply to straight gay relationships too, to a degree, since feminine and masculine are um, polarities of vibration or energy or sexuality versus male and female who are which are gender based if you get my point so that's why there's a challenge frankly why there are a lot of men out there who actually are playing in the feminine role rather than the masculine role and i don't mean macho macho is another conversation entirely which i might drop in we'll see a lot of men have in in relationship let me qualify this a lot of men in relationship have adopted the feminine role for one very simple reason ladies you take up the masculine space yes that's going to be a bit of like, oh my God, no. But I wanted to say, let's get out fr up front early and explain one, what the problem is, and then we'll provide some solutions. So bear with me. Many different um, people I know. No, no, I'm going to go there. No, I'm not going to go there. I'm going a different way. All right, just checking where I'm going to go with this. So rewind a couple of words. So I forget what I just said <laughs> in the many, many people. As I said, a lot of men have become more feminine in relationships because you ladies are occupying the masculine. So let me explain a couple of things. First of all, the polarity of relationship attraction is masculine and feminine energies, which is why relationships work if you're straight or gay, because it's about the polarity, not about the gender. So if you don't like, if you don't have a problem with people being gay and having gay relationships, you should stop watching my videos or stop being my friends, frankly, because I have a lot of gay friends and this can help them too. So the polarity, which creates sexual chemistry, is masculine and feminine at opposite poles, like magnet poles, in fact, like you know, north-south poles of a magnet create that attraction when you put them together. So does masculine and feminine polarity in a relationship. That's a pretty good analogy. Which means that for sexual chemistry to happen, there needs to be one masculine and one feminine aspect in the relationship. If you're both in one role, there's no chemistry. So two feminine energies together, or two masculine energies together, which I'm going to put that on the screen, it doesn't work for sexual chemistry. Now, friendship is fine, but two masculine energies or two feminine energies together, I, keep, I, I forget what side of the screen I'm doing it to, but whatever works, is not going to create sexual chemistry. So the only way for sexual chemistry to really work is when one part is in the masculine and one part is in the feminine. And the reality is it doesn't actually matter which one for the chemistry to happen. So when you're in a relationship, ladies, and you're on your masculine, you're only going to have chemistry with the man who's in his feminine. If you're with a man who's in his masculine and you're in your masculine, there's no room for sexual chemistry to happen. That explain, might, might explain some of your relationship challenges in the past, where you were, where you were in your masculine, you're around a man who's in his masculine, and you thought you'd be attracted to him, but you won't get any juice from him. That's the reason why. Now, one caveat, because I've been in this experience myself. There are certain situations where a man is in his masculine and granite is so strong, it may actually shift you, but that's gonna, actually I'll come to that in a minute, that's, that's jumping ahead. 
But the truth is also sometimes there are men who actually see women in the masculine as a challenge. And in fact, this is one of the problems that happens. When you're in the masculine, not only do you have a problem with attracting feminine men, you also find yourself having a challenge when you have masculine men, actually macho men, not masculine, but men in the machismo, who want to dominate and prove they're stronger than you. Which can be, chemistry can be fun for a bit, but it's punishing after a while, punitive in fact, because you end up suffering because you're actually trying to stay in your masculine and he's trying to knock you out of it and it's not respectful. There's a better way of doing it, which I'll get to. So if you're dating feminine men, you're facing that challenge as well. The problem with either one of those is you're not getting what you really want because you're out of alignment with your truth. When you're in your feminine, really, is where you want to be. But, and this is one of the big buts, as it were, ladies, most of you have learned to be out of your feminine for the safety of your survival. Yes, survival. Particularly in business. For many women, being in business requires a masculine mindset, a masculine way of being. And for many women, you tend to get stuck there. So when you're out dating or you go out to happy hour or even in relationships, you stay in the same place you are in your business. And if forgotten perhaps, or you're not safe, you don't feel safe enough to actually move back into your feminine. And that's not helping anybody. So a couple of things I want to speak about when you're in your masculine, some of the challenges of relationships. So as I said at the beginning, and this whole topic is about you're dating feminine men because you're in your, in your masculine. When you meet men who aren't in the feminine, you're going to meet men who are either going to try and knock you down and, and, and um, dominate you because they want to prove they're stronger than you, which isn't very fun. It may be for a minute, but it's going to suck in the end. That's two options. Third option is you're going to get to be with a man who's going to keep walking away from you because he doesn't know how to deal with you. Because you're not, in, you're in his, basically it's like you're in his space, as it were, so to speak. Because you're only masculine when he would rather be the masculine, but he doesn't know how to be in that to hold space for you. Now, here's a couple of things. The way this can work best, first of all, is if you remember to be in your feminine, but that's another piece I'll get to. But a man who knows who he is and lives in his masculine truly, he won't give that up. But also what he won't do is push you out of your masculine. He'll invite you, and this is the difference. For a relationship to work between men and women, where a woman's more in a masculine more of the time, a man in his masculine who really owns his space and lives in his truth and brings presence to the conversation will hold it strong enough for two things to happen. One, the invitation to have you move into your feminine will work. Secondly, and more importantly, as a woman, you'll feel safe. Ladies, when you're around a man who's truly his masculine, not a macho, very different, when he's truly his masculine heart, grounded, present, open, you automatically know that you can trust him. And when you can trust him, then a relationship can happen in a much more fluid and romantic and sexually charged way. That's the ideal. Now, the challenge that you ladies face is trusting yourself in your feminine. Again, as I said, in business, you've been trained by the culture, by society even, that to be strong, to succeed, you've got to be masculine and run the show and get things done. And for a lot of women who are entrepreneurs who are successful in that, for many of them, they've learned that's the only way to do it. Because being the feminine for them hasn't worked because there hasn't been a model to show them that till recently. Which means to trust a man takes a lot because you're dedicated your life to being successful in business and so you hold your masculine. And when a man shows up in his masculine, you don't know what to do with it, frankly because you don't want to give up your safety the place you're in to move to the other side and that could be a challenge so and this is the lesson I learned from being the feminine male in a relationship so I know what it feels like to be on the other side of that the women I dated were in the masculine and I didn't realize I was out of alignment I didn't hold space for them and did not stand in my space as a fully masculine man for them to shift and boy did I pay the price and so did they ultimately and the relationship suffered because of it so I know from experience how it doesn't work so ladies, my encouragement, my, my invitation, my um, guidance in a way is to invite you to look at how you can be in your feminine. And it's going to sound strange to say this for coming from a guy. But my work with my clients is about this because, as I said, when a man is in his masculine presence holding that space, women generally feel safe in the feminine with that energy. And for me, it's my um, driving force for my work. That's one reason I coach women in my work because having that safe space of a masculine hearted man f standing for them they feel one they can feel safe and being the feminine and two they can recognize what that looks like and feels like so when they go on dates they know what to look for in a relationship amazing how that works so my invitation to you 
ladies is to look at ways you can reconnect your feminine heart when you're single because for some of you for many of you especially if you watch my videos a lot of you aren't in a relationship because you've been one of the reasons not all but one of the reasons is because you've been very much based in your masculine which is why being in a relationship is so challenging and why for a lot of you being single has been your preference and I'm not frankly um, suggesting you stay there if you want a relationship I have a few things I'll let you know about but one of those steps will be to own your feminine when you're in social environments when you go to parties when you go out networking when you go to service environments when you meet men the more you can own your feminine will give you the space to let the man step into his masculine now <laughs> this is the thing some men won't step into that place which is a pain in fact some men are um, attached to their egos too much they don't have to be in their feminine masculine rather so they'll be in their macho and will fight for that and it's one of the challenges that you face when you're looking to be in relationship ladies being your feminine you feel like with my feminine the man will be his masculine not so fast this is an interesting thing when a man's always masculine space women generally will naturally move to the feminine because they trust it they understand it and they feel into it men don't feel so well <laughs> feeling as in feeling energetically so when you're in a feminine a lot of men don't get what that is and don't a bit relate to it so you ladies when you step into your feminine must if you're choosing this step in such a way that when you own your feminine it is absolutely 100% aligned to your values aligned to your true nature because when you do that not only one will men know that you're not in your masculine but secondly and more powerfully when you're truly in your feminine power ladies they won't mess with you and I mean this seriously some women think that being the feminine is going to be being weak and being less than no that's far from the truth if you've seen any of the feminine warriors in the world in, in history or in, in, in even comic books frankly there are women out there who are very much in the feminine but come from a very powerful place because the feminine energy is the power of the planet I, I did a talk I'll assume about this with my friend Beth um, the links on my wall from yesterday on her show called The Rant and we talked about this about Beyond Me Too amongst other things and we got into some deep stuff and we talked about the feminine energy being more powerful than masculine it is we may look stronger because we have bigger bodies we have more muscles most of the time than most women but we also have thinner shells and ladies you're a much more powerful force of nature than men are in the masculine so just own that remember that and learn from that now I'm giving you the cliff notes of this because there's way more to talk about than just this part but I want to give you some thoughts to provoke you for the weekend to give you some ideas to think about that might just change your life so simply this is a game changer for some of you this is a pla this is a place where you can understand that being a feminine is more potent than anything else there's so much more to say about this I just think I had to bring it um. <laughs> I'll do it this way for those of you who want to find out more reach out and talk to me this is this is not something I can teach in a, in a video format it's more interactive more about getting to know where you are and where you want to go so You've got, some, you've got some clarity from this, I trust. It was fairly basic stuff in some ways and some very advanced stuff in other ways, so depending how you look at this. Um, these are big stuff, big points I'm teaching, saying, indicating, reminding you of. This stuff I've spent 10 years studying, so I'm giving you a 10-minute study and 10 years study in 10 minutes, which is not really fair. If you want to find out more oh, how to do this and get deeper into this work and understand how to transform your life to attract an amazing relationship, reach out to me. I'll put the link in the comments for a discovery session with me which in shorthand if you want to just get it verbally is barryselby.com forward slash chat that's my name is my website barryselby.com forward slash chat to sign up for that um, as usual I'll remind you that self love is one of the keys to having a healthy relationship I talked about it before also in my uh, in my interview with Beth on the rant we talked about self love being the fundamental key to attract a healthy relationship so that those two things I'll put links in the comments and that one verbally is barryselby.com forward slash self love or one word so those are two things you can look into um, that's basically my point I mean you've got the understanding you've got the teaching I trust this makes sense to you I trust and you can do something about it I trust um, if you want help reach out to me if you don't go ahead and live this out see what happens I think it will change your love life and that's a good thing quick reminder this is a Facebook live as I mentioned at the beginning it is shared, it is stored on I should say it's archived onto my business page which is Barry Selby author on Facebook the replays then go onto my YouTube channel, which is subscribe to my channel, which is Barry Selby. The playlist is messages from the masculine. 
and then eventually gets onto my podcast, which is also on iTunes, sorry, also called Measures the Masculine, on iTunes, you can subscribe to it there and, record, and listen to the recordings there. This is my 526th broadcast, I ain't stopping yet, so I'll be back in tomorrow at 5pm Pacific time, we'll see what we'll talk about then, um, but this one may provoke you, and if it does, good, if it doesn't, why not? I invite your comments and questions, I will respond to them after I sign off, and I appreciate you being here, so take care of yourselves, please. You deserve the best. Don't settle for less than that. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.